Yes, there it is. Every Monday, OG takes on a new challenge. It is Monday. Last week, Ben challenged her to try the Napoleon Dynamite Dance Challenge. And boy, did she deliver, which we call mm -hmm. Apoleon Dynamite. She <laughs> slayed that. So this week, a very special guest joins OG, someone she has admired for years. OG? Who are you I'm talking about? You say this. admired, I say stalked, same thing. I drink this smoothie every single morning. It's bananas, raw cacao powder, nut butter, hemp seeds, chia seeds, plant milk, water, dates, vanilla, burdock root powder. The other stuff is like I added myself. Now the reason this smoothie exists, and it tastes like ice cream, by the way, is because of this woman you're about to meet, New York Times bestselling author and registered dietitian, Joy Bauer. Such a pleasure to have you here, and thank you for not calling the cops on me. Okay, you are hands down my most favorite stalker. Ah! I love it. <laughs> you heard the woman, so you can't really follow a restraining order because you just said that. That should give me permission to stalk you more. <laughs> bring it on, bring it on. Okay, let me tell you, every single time, because I'm, I'm like all into, they make fun of me that I'm always trying every single diet or fat or whatever. Whenever you speak, I stop and listen because you make it easy, you make it taste good. That's how my smoothie came along because people were always talking about raw cacao. I saw your, your, um, your recipe and I tried it. I added a few things, but it is the best thing ever so that makes me so happy and like you nailed it look it has to be easy it has to be realistic and the stuff needs to taste delicious otherwise hey we're gonna jump ship right right but you know the smoothie i'm talking about the, the cacao smoothie with the dates and the frozen bananas and stuff that's like my favorite smoothie i don't try anything else i have bags and bags of frozen bananas in my freezer all the time just to make that smoothie and it's because of you so when people say How'd you look so good? I should just point them your direction because you're a huge Aww. part of it. So it only makes sense, Miss Bauer, that you pick my next challenge, right? We're doing five I'm superfood ready. swaps in five days. And first of all, tell people who don't know what a superfood is. Well, there's no formal scientific definition for a superfood, but to me, I define it as any wholesome food that has nutrients that help to enhance our health, increase our energy, uh, promote a glowing complexion, nurture our heart health, give us brain power. So to me, that's what a superfood is. And I would love to start with our first challenge um, having to do with the smoothie that you have. Does that sound cool? Yes, it does. And I have my superfood right here with me. What am I doing with my spinach? Okay, so spinach is basically like nature's multivitamin. It has everything, vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, fiber. So what I want you to do is to take a handful of loose spinach leaves and put it right in the blender when you make that chocolate oh. banana smoothie. And you know what? You're not even going to taste it. I am telling you, you won't even taste it. It's going to become this luscious, thick, velvety smoothie. It's gonna be just like the one that you're currently drinking. And for anyone that's watching that has kids, this is a really cool thing to try. Great way to sneak in that superfood, spinach. I trust you with my life on my smoothie, so you don't have to convince <laughs> me. If you say it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. All right, so red bell peppers, how am I doing this? Red bell, pe red bell peppers are packed with vitamin C. One bell pepper a day gives you more than 2% of your daily requirement for vitamin C. And vitamin C helps to strengthen our immune system. We all need that right now. So a few things you could do with it. First, you can wrap around um, turkey slices with bell pepper sticks and dunk it in mustard or hot sauce, if hot sauce is your thing. Also, you can dip red bell pepper sticks in hummus. But a really oh. cool thing that I like to do is I slice them up mm -hmm. into quarters, lay them out on a baking sheet, and then put on um, seasoned ground meat and corn and black beans and cheese, put them in the oven, let it all melt together for about 10 minutes, and you just made yourself bell pepper nachos. Ooh, I'm gonna text Those you all these, really I'm gonna good. keep sending you all these pictures. Uh, mushrooms is my next one. How do I do mushrooms this Mushrooms are loaded with antivirals. One of the best things you could do with mushrooms, aside from putting them in salads and mm. omelets, buy portobello mushrooms, and um, with a spoon, take out the gill and some of the inside and then roast them in the oven and then create pizzas. So just about 10 minutes in the oven, they get soft and delicious. Then you're gonna put on some marinara sauce, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, put them back in the oven and create a portobello pizza. Amazing.